Randolph Matthew Charles, also known as Randolph Campbell, Scotty and High Price, of Mount Horn St. Andrew, who resided at Lackalum Westerhall St. David, a former St. George's taxi driver, passed away on Tuesday, October 29, 2024, at the age of 71. He was the father of Lorna Linda Johnson, Jasmine Francis and Simone Burnett in the USA, Rena Mitchell Alexander in England, Devon Samuel, Luan Eno, and Laureen Campbell in Grenada, grandfather of 12, brother of Verna Bowen Reed, Suzanne, Ronnie, and Byron Charles, also known as Bushy, Ruth Venn and Grand Fortune, Haines Lynn Fortune Churn, Linus Fortune Hinks, and Ellen Fortune Roach, all in the USA, Lincoln Alexander, also known as Lackatan, Annette and Danny Bowen, Irvin Fortune, and Donald Noel in Grenada. Close companion, Rolda Murrell, father-in-law of Neil Francis and Brian Burnett in the USA, Shenton Eno in England, and Justin Alexander in Grenada. Uncle of 42, brother-in-law of many, too numerous to mention, nephew of 12. Other relatives and close friends, including neighbors and friends of Lacalome, Belmont, Paddock, Mount Horn, and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Randolph Matthew Charles, also known as Randolph Campbell, Scotty and High Price, of Mount Horn St. Andrew, who resided at Lackalum Westerhall St. David, will take place on Tuesday, November 26th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Garden of Remembrance Funeral Chapel, Cemetery Hill St. George's, followed by cremation. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Margaret Batiste, née Peters of Grand Bacal at St. Andrew, passed away on Sunday, November 3rd, 2024, at the age of 81. She was the mother of Kim, Warrell, and John, grandmother of Petrina, Estelle, Nathaniel, Tasha, Jordan, Joel, Rachel, and Tamira, great-grandmother of nine, sister of Cicely, mother-in-law of Steve and Kathleen, Aunt of many including Esther, Rodney, and Paul. Caregivers Cecilia and James. Many cousins, other relatives, and close friends including Nellie, Rose, William, Clive, and Cuthbert, and friends and neighbors of Grand Bacalet and surrounding areas. The funeral service for the late Margaret Batiste near Peters of Grand Bacalet St. Andrew will take place on Tuesday, November 26th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Granville Roman Catholic Church and entombment will be at the Grand Bra Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. When a loved one passes on, we all need the comfort, support and guidance of a trusted friend. You can rely on Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. We provide a personalized professional service that exceeds all expectations. Our dedicated staff responds to your every need with the greatest detail ensuring affordability with a variety of options. Our upgraded state-of-the-art facilities, spacious air-conditioned chapel with live internet streaming, a modern environmentally safe crematorium, the only of its kind on island, private viewing spaces, large on-site repass center, a modern transportation fleet. Join our burial society today and make personalized arrangements for that final moment. As you prepare to enter your loved one into eternal rest, visit or call the Quar Brothers Funeral Home and select a package that brings added comfort to the entire family. The Quar Brothers Funeral Home and Burial Society, continuing a tradition of excellence. Stressman Thomas, J.P.O.A.O.B.E., also known as Chessman, Daddy Chess, Ma Boy, and O of Upper Deperdean Street, Grove, St. John, a well-known businessman, passed away on Tuesday, November 12, 2024, at the age of 94, left to mourn his sons Wesley Thomas, Dennis Thomas, Trevor Charles, Moran Mitchell, John Thomas, Augustus Hector, and Chester Abraham, daughters Joylyn St. Louis, Lydia James, Gillian Philip, Tricia Thomas, Anistine Hector, and Carnus Abraham. 39 grandchildren, including Samantha St. Louis, Junior St. Louis, Sherman Thomas, Sherman Thomas, Sheena Alexander, Sadie Thomas, Rondi Thomas, Quincy Noel, April Thomas, Devon Abraham, Avion Abraham, 
Junus Charles, Michael Philip, Janiel Philip, Samad Hector, Clarissa Hector, Natasha James, Nigel James, Gabriel Bernard, and Dillion Mitchell. 43 great grands. Brother in law Renard Cador. Sister in law Barbara Gibbs. Grand aunts Agnes Langdon and Rika Langdon. Nieces June Thomas, Dale Thomas, Esther, Akeda Passy, Catherine, Claudette Thomas, Myrtle Thomas, Gillian Thomas, Jean Thomas, and Esther Primus. Nephews Ralph Thomas, Norris, Alvin, Kent Carley, Carver, Eden, Loney Thomas, Pat Roach, Reggie Passy, and Stuart Wilson. Grand nieces Donna Thomas and Chantel Duncan. Grand nephew Richard Thomas. Daughters in law Candia Crosby Thomas, Leonard Charles, Shireen Hector, and Maureen Noel. Sons in law Justin Hazard, Bernard St. Louis, and Collins Mason. Several godchildren, including Sharon Duranget and Adeline Dabrio. Many other relatives and friends, including the Thomas family of Grove, Grand Roy and Hermitage, the Langdon family of Happy Hill, Mrs. Brenda Pear, Thompson and Clarice Crosby, the Cador family of Grand Roy, Black Bay, Creighton and Hopevale, the Louison family of Grove, Marigot and Concord, the Paul family of Grand Roy, the Butler family of School Lane Grove, the Pradum family, the sons and daughters of Hoodoo Forrester, Diana Hopkin and Francis Taylor, Aquasi Barito and family, Jeremy Cummings and family, Evelyn Whiteman and the Purcell family, Alva Lawrence, Mr. Steadman, Anne Bell and the Bell family of Woburn, John Dumont and family, Shermer Wells and the Pitt family, Sir Walter St. John and family, Michael Archibald, Margaret Wilkinson, Rosalind Wilkinson and Alban John, Mrs. Muriel Mitchell and family, Miss Clarice Charles, Deanne and Kenny Lewis, Esla Forrester and family, the Fisherfolk of Gwove, and friends and neighbors of Gwove and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Stressman Thomas, JP, OA, OBE, also known as Chessman, Daddy Chess, My Boy, and O, of Upper Deperdeen Street, Gwove St. John, will take place on Wednesday, November 27th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Grove Anglican Church and entombment will be at the Douglaston Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Angela Alexis, better known as Teacher Angela, of Laureland St. David, proprietor of St. David's Pharmacy, died on Wednesday, November 6, 2024, at the age of 77, left to mourn her mother, Teresa Charles, better known as Teacher Queen, Husband, Thomas Alexis. Four children, Neil Alexis in the USA, Kelvin and Rohan Alexis, and Janiel Alexis Brown in Grenada. Son-in-law, Alva Brown. Daughters-in-law, Deborah Francis Alexis and Krista Pascal Alexis. Stepson, Wayne Dominic. Adopted son, Sherin Brent Martin in the USA. Sisters, Bernadette Cohen, Paula Grant, Claudine and Claudette Andrews, and Margaret Charles in the USA. Brothers Ralston and Milton Charles and Earl Andrews in the USA, and Milroy Andrews in Trinidad. Brothers-in-law including Francis, Leroy and Alva Alexis, Ludwig Charles and Earl Grant. Sisters-in-law including Carol and Rochelle Charles, Claudia, Angela and Christine Alexis, Michelle Andrews and Rosamond George. Grandchildren Brandon, Adrian, Amaria and Adriel Alexis in the USA, Selena Brown, Kaylee and Anil Alexis in Grenada. Adopted grandchildren Kenesha Matthew, Jada and Jadel Vincent in the USA. Great grandchildren Miguel and Miles Matthew in the USA. Other relatives and close friends including Ursula and Hilary Gabriel and family, Phyllis Forsyth and family, the children of Merrill and Julius Forsyth and family, the staff and customers of the St. David's Pharmacy Limited, Alithia Cox and family, Dennis and Juliana Greenwich and family, the staff of Innovative Health Services, Lorna Dixon and family, Father Carl Haynes and the parishioners of the St. Dominic's RC Church, Father Gabriel Osang, Jeffrey Gabriel and family, Nicole Neverpitt, many nieces, nephews, grand nieces and grand nephews in Grenada and the USA. Many cousins from the George, Richard, Francis, Grant, Charles, 
Alexis, Andrews, Gabriel, Philip, Batiste and Forsyth families in Grenada and the USA. Many other relatives and friends in Grenada and the United States of America. The funeral of the late Angela Alexis, better known as Teacher Angela, of Laureland St. David, will take place on Wednesday, November 27th at 1.30 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the St. Dominic's Roman Catholic Church, Pedmata St. David, and interment will be at the Windsor Forest Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Rosamond Jilks, also known as Ross and Auntie, of St. Paul St. George, passed away on Saturday, November 9th, 2024, at the age of 70. She was the mother of Nigel and Sasha Jilks in the USA, sister of Rona, George, O'Brien, Dudley, Gregory in Grenada and Leslie, and Suzanne in the USA, grandmother of Skylar and Khalil in the US, many nieces and nephews, many relatives and friends including Cecile Anderson, Gracelyn Taylor, Karen Marriott in the USA, Carol Assam and family in Trinidad, the Robinson families of St. Paul's, the Lane and McLeish families. The funeral of the late Rosamund Jilks, also known as Rose and Auntie, of St. Paul St. George, will take place on Thursday, November 28th, commencing with tributes at 12.30 p.m. and service at 2 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Our Lady of the Rosary Parish, Roxborough St. Paul's, followed by interment at the Mount Airy Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Alban Dominic Mason, also known as Hooker and One Shot, of Market Square Grove St. John, passed away on Tuesday, November 5th, 2024, at the age of 67. He was the nephew of Petrolina Fernera. Many cousins, other relatives and close friends, including Lauriston Lewis, also known as Snake Boy, the Mason family of Grove Estate and in the USA, Anne Wilson and the Castillo family, the Sabazan family, Jeanette Charles and family, Marvis Mitchell and family, Mina Fletcher, Marva and the boys at the shop, Pastor LeBlanc and members of the Church of Christ Gwarve, the Williams family in the United Kingdom, and friends and neighbors of Gwarve Estate, Market Square and surrounding areas. The funeral service for the lit Alban Dominic Mason, also known as Hooker and One Shot, of Market Square Gwarve St. John will take place on Friday, November 29th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Church of Christ Grove and interment will be at the Douglaston Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Veronica Sisley Batiste, also known as Tante Sisley and Mama, of Grove Estate St. John, died on Friday, November 15th, 2024, at the age of 94. The funeral arrangements for the late Veronica Sisley Batiste, also known as Tante Sisley and Mama, of Gwarve Estate St. John, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Ezekiel Coutain, also known as Kello and Bugawi, of La Femme St. David, passed away on Saturday, November 16, 2024, at the age of 49. The funeral arrangements for the late Ezekiel Coutain, also known as Kello and Bugawi, of La Femme St. David, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Teresa Toppin, also known as Monica and sister of Mount Agnes Pomero St. David, who resided in London, United Kingdom, died on Wednesday, November 13, 2024, at the age of 88. The funeral arrangements for the late Teresa Toppin, also known as Monica and sister of Mount Agnes Palmer St. David, who resided in London, United Kingdom, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Jacqueline Marilyn Philip Hyacinth of River Road St. George, who resided in the USA, passed away on Sunday, November 3rd, 2024, at the age of 60. The funeral arrangements for the late Jacqueline Marilyn Philip Hyacinth of River Road St. George, who resided in the USA, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home.
Mildred Margaret Andrews of Pomeroy St. David, who resided in the USA, passed away on Monday, November 4, 2024, at the age of 77. The funeral arrangements for the late Mildred Margaret Andrews of Pomeroy St. David, who resided in the USA, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Camille Charles, also known as Baby, of Victoria St. Mark, passed away on Wednesday, October 30th, 2024, at the age of 37. The funeral arrangements for the late Camille Charles, also known as Baby, of Victoria St. Mark, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Elsa Cuffey of St. John, who resided in the United Kingdom and at Calivany St. George, passed away on Thursday, October 24, 2024, at the age of 86. The funeral arrangements for the late Elsa Cuffey of St. John, who resided in the United Kingdom and at Calivany St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. The management and staff of MTV extend deepest condolences to those of you whose loved ones have passed on. Thank you for watching. I'm Pastor Jerry Keynes Douglas, and I'd like to take the opportunity today to express my deepest sympathy to all of you who have lost loved ones, friends, members of your family or inner circle. Probably one of the hardest de issues to deal with in life is the loss of a loved one, someone close. There is arguably no harder blow than to be separated from someone as a result of death, and especially so when that death has come as a tragedy, as a tragic circumstance. Our deepest sympathy is with you today. I'd like to share a word of comfort with you from the Word of God that we can all learn from as we deal with bereavement, with mourning, with sorrow, and with the pain of a lost loved one. I'd like to say from the Word of God, we learn about Abraham, the patriarch. And the Bible says that when Abraham's wife, Sarah, died, in Hebron, that Abraham sat down to mourn and to weep for her. And then, after a period of mourning and weeping, the Bible says Abraham arose and he went to do business, to buy land, to build a tomb for Sarah, and to uh, bury her remains. And for all of us, there is that issue of dealing with the grieving period. And yes, it's okay to mourn, it is okay to grieve, it is okay to, to express that, that, that sense of loss and the pain that it comes with it. But I say to you today, you're not alone. Like Abraham, go ahead and mourn. You're not alone. It's natural, let it happen. However, I also believe that for the grace of God, you're not alone in these times. So God says, and as you feel that pain, he says, come to me, all ye that are, that are heavy laden, burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. We need to come to him and find a grace that goes beyond the casual comfort that people may give to us. Find support in God himself. I also want to say to you that if you mourn and you know your loved one, knew the Lord, you know the Lord, then we do not mourn as those who have no hope, but we know that Jesus will come again and the dead in Christ shall arise. That ought to be your hope as well. But finally, I also want to say to you in this difficult time to focus on what your loved one would have wanted. The Bible says Abraham rose up after his mourning, um, even during that, and he was able to get on with his life. And your loved ones would certainly want you to go through some grief and some mourning, but also to be able to move on with your life and to do the things that they would want you to do, to be strong to bounce out of your grief and to be able to carry on and to fulfill the rest of your life until the day comes when you or I would be inevitably moved out of here by the same process. So my prayers are with you, are with you today, that God would help you and give you comfort and grace 
in this time of bereavement. May the Lord bless you and help you and strengthen you in an amazing way. And as I close, I give you this wonderful promise from God's word. He says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. He says, I will strengthen you, I will help you, and I will support you with my mighty right hand. Isaiah 41.10. May God bless you. Thank you.